Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my, what was my radio room uh, here on Wolf Mountain. All the equipment's out of here and I'm hoping to get some friends to take down the towers pretty soon. If you bought one of those many handhelds that are very inexpensive, 18 to 25 dollars off of eBay or Amazon.com, is the antenna that comes with it the best antenna? Or can you use something like this one? Or does it need to be something like this one that's about 20 inches long? Stay tuned, we're going to do some testing. Whiskey 6 Lima calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Alright, I've got a bunch of these antennas. I've built a test stand. I'm going to measure the signal strength from a source and I'm going to plot it using uh, an STR receiver in my computer. I'll do a screen grab. We'll see how these stack up. And the question is, if you have one of these that's maybe an inch and a half long, how does it compare to one of these that's maybe 20 inches long or 19 and a half? If the antenna is, instead of being, let's say, 19 or 20 inches, it's about a third that length, like this one, does it perform a third as well, or is it something other than that? It's always something other than that, I guess. And while we're talking about one of these, what's inside one of these things? What's, it's called a rubber duck. Is there rubber inside? Well, actually, there's a spring like this one, and it's uh, my monitor's over there. So this is all it is. It is really just a spring. It's been coiled up. Um, and how well does that perform? What impedance is this thing? Yeah. And what's the SWR like? Um, but for this part, let's see how efficient this is compared to this. The one antenna I didn't pick up is a telescopic rod that I can adjust the length and that will be my standard. So I'm going to use a uh, telescopic whip set it to about 19 and a half inches for maximum performance and I'll compare the rest of the antennas to that. So let's do that. I'm going to move over to the screen capture device and turn on the SDR receiver that I uh, put together and let's let's see what happens. Is this thing as good as one of these? The, this one's uh, well, we're talking about this one. This one's two bands and that's true of a couple of them. The first or last part of it is going to be the two meter antenna that I'm going to use. The rest of it will really not affect performance. So while it looks longer, it really is the equivalent of a, a short antenna that's about six inches long. Anyway, let's go do the test, see what happens. Okay, this is SDR Sharp, and I've got it set to 144 megahertz. The one and a half inch spring is about minus 30 dB or so. And there's no antennas. I swap, swap them out. Um, that's the three-inch rubber duck. It's down about minus 14 dB. And here comes the four-inch spring. It's down about minus 11 dB. So it's getting better. This is the 6 inch spring, it's minus 10 dB. Again, I'm just picking the number that looks about right to me. Here's that tri-band whip, it's down about minus 9.5 dB. Okay, this is the 20 inch spring. It's roughly 20 inches, maybe it could be 19 and a half. It's minus 8 and a half to 9 dB down. This is the uh, 18 inch spring, and it's uh, minus 7 and a half dB. So, so far that's been the best antenna.
This is my telescopic, uh, telescopic whip set to about 19 and a half inches. It's down about 6 to 7 dB. All right, here's the chart that shows the results from the various lengths. And I'm going to take it down line by line, but basically across the top, um, I've just identified them by length. Inch and a half, three inches, four inches, six inches. The compound multiband antenna at six inches, 20, 18, 19 and a half. And then this is their signal strength as recorded by the STR receiver in minus dB. So uh, the best is the 19 and a half inch. That's going to be my standard of comparison. Uh, here are the results then taking that into account. Inch and a half one is down minus 23 dB. That's a long way down. Um, the six inch rubber duck is uh, down about 3 dB. So here's my best estimate as to the efficiency. Now the inch and a half one, there's some rounding errors that occur, and so that's not exactly right, but you can just see it's terrible. Um, the three inch rubber duck is 20 dB efficient as compared to the 19 and a half inch whip, which is 100%. So if you have one of those five watt walkie talkies, that would be the equivalent of putting out these various power levels. So the uh, inch and a half would have about a tenth of a watt or so. It, it, so far down, it's, it's virtually zero. Three inch rubber duck uh, be one watt. So you've got a five watt handheld, but it's really radiating the equivalent of one watt. Um, the six inch rubber duck, which is kind of a good point of comparison, that one is about 50% efficient. So even though it's about one-third the length that it needs to be, 100% efficient, it's only down about 3 dB. And, and actually, um, that's, frankly, that's better than I thought it was going to be. The 20-inch uh, and the 18-inch are kind of interesting because the 20-inch is a tad too long, um, and it affected its, uh, its performance or efficiency. So an antenna needs to be just the right length. If it were, um, let's see, assuming matching uh, isn't being done, but if you just if the antenna is just too long or has not been adjusted properly, uh, it can have a significant impact on its performance. So um, minus seven dB. I, I did that because I didn't want to have a signal that was overloading the front end of the. SDR receiver, just um, a of an incredibly weak signal. All right, there you have it. Um, the four inch rubber duck is about uh, one third efficient. So again, it's about something like having uh, two watts output. So you're sacrificing a lot of power to use an antenna that's short. Um, and it has an impact on its range. So the six inch rubber duck is down about uh, two and a half dB compared to the 19 inch whip. Um, so it's roughly the equivalent of about 2.8 watts of output at that 56% efficiency. So there you go, the, the line of green shows how many, and this is the best way I could put it up, how many watts output might the antenna have? And this assumes a lot of things that are not in play here. In any case, uh, the 19 and a half inch whip uh, runs away with the uh, uh, award for efficiency. All right, there you have it. If you have one of these antennas and you have a comment, uh, put it below. I'd like to hear from you. If you have a question, uh, also put that below. If you have not subscribed, uh, please, uh, please do that if you have time. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. See you the next time we'll talk a little more about antenna efficiency and how these results might affect how you look at an HF antenna. 7 3.